Today we are going to create a simple buy stop example. A buy stop is a pending order. You see this order is already running. It's the buy position here. And we have two other positions that have not been triggered yet because we only want them to be triggered if the price rises above the level where we have placed the pending orders. So let's speed up the expert advisor a little bit and let's see what happens. For a long time nothing happens because the price is falling and now our pending orders have been triggered. And as you can see a few more. Actually we can see in the graph that we have a rising balance curve and here we can see a few profits. Now how can we create a simple expert advisor that is going to work with pending orders that produce a buy stop? To do that please click on the little button here or press the F4 key on your keyboard and that will bring up the meta editor and here you want to select file new expert advisor from template continue i will call it simple buy stop continue continue and finish and now you can remove everything above the on tick function and let's also remove the two command lines here and to do any trade at all we need to include the trade mqh file and create an instance of ctrade with the name trade. With symbol info double we get the ask price of the current symbol and by using normalized double for the number of digits behind the dot we ensure that we are always working with the right numbers because we have currencies with only three digits behind the dot and other currencies with five digits behind the dot and the result will be the ask price and it will be stored in a variable called ask and that is a variable of the type double. I would also like to get the account balance that is done by using account info double account underline balance and the result will be stored in a variable called balance and now I want to do the same thing for the account equity that's done by using account info double account underline equity and the result will be stored in a variable called equity and if equity and balance are equal I want to trigger the buy stop for 10 micro lots I want the pending order to be 100 points above the ask price. I don't set a stop loss, but I want to set 300 points of profit. The pending order should not expire, so I use order underline time underline GTC. And the last two parameters for the date and the comment will be set to zero. And that's actually all for this simple example. So let's compile the code here and that worked without any errors. So we now can click here or press the F4 key to go back to MetaTrader. And in MetaTrader you want to click on View, Strategy Tester or press Ctrl and R on your keyboard. And now you should see the Strategy Tester panel and here you want to select the file simplebystop.ex5. Please also enable the visualization mode here and click on start. And now you should see something like this on your screen. Here we have two buy stop orders. They both will be triggered when the defined price is reached. And you could also set an expiration date. But for this very simple example, I think you understood the difference between a normal buy trade and a buy stop. Okay, that's it for now. I think you understood how it works and you have programmed your EA with a few lines of MQL5 code.